Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Um, we're getting through a little cold front here in Texas. It just came in last night and um, many of you know the thing about us Texans, we don't like the cold, or at least I don't. Uh, it gets below 80 and I'm freaking out. Uh, but I hope everyone's doing well. And for those of you that uh, are having issues or have, going through, you know, uh, whatever problems you're going through, uh, I'll include you all in my prayers as I always do. Um, so I'd like to touch a little bit on something that I've been watching on the news lately. Well, no, let me correct myself. I don't watch the news anymore, uh, but <clears throat> news clips on YouTube and then uh, content creators that are uh, talking about it. And it has to do with a movie, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's Hebrew to Negro, Wake Up, Black America. Um, I think it was uh, made by a gentleman named Ronald Dalton, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so the whole thing is that, from what I understand, from what I've been watching, uh, trying to collect uh, information uh, on what's going on, uh, Kyrie Irving, a basketball player in the NBA, I think he plays for the Nets, um, watched that movie that I just mentioned. I'm not sure if it's based on the same, uh, on a book by the same name or not, but uh, I know that there's a book about it as well. At least I, no, I'm not going to say I know. I understand that there's a book uh, about it as well. But my whole thing is this. <clears throat> we are, and I say we because I don't want to separate myself from, you know, everyone. Uh, even though I don't believe to be in the collective uh, the way uh, a lot of people want us to be. <clears throat> We're so ready to cater to the few uh, that we um, don't take into account when people want to say something or they want to express themselves. And this is what I'm trying to get at. So Kyrie Irving, from what I understand, saw a movie. He liked it. It gave him some kind of, I don't know, information, inspiration, whatever it may have been. And he tweeted out, hey guys, watch this movie. It's pretty good, right? Um, and a lot of times I think that's how we get information uh, about movies. Uh, I'll watch a movie that hasn't been watched too much by someone or I discover this movie uh, and then I'm like, hey, this is a pretty good movie. Watch it, right? And I'll pass it on to a buddy of mine, you know, that information, just the name of the title of the movie. Uh, <clears throat> of course, Kyrie Irving has a, a, a big following on Twitter, and he put out the uh, the name of this movie, and uh, I guess for him, it was a good movie. And uh, so, from what I understand now, is he's just catching hell. Because it's anti-Semitic, it's anti-this, it's anti-this, it's racist, all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute. All he did was say, I like this movie, go and watch it. Right? I, I don't understand why people are all up in arms about him just saying that he liked the movie. And maybe others would like it also. And it's, maybe it's informative or, you know, whatever it may be. The whole thing is that. Everyone jumps on the bandwagon and just starts hammering on this guy. I don't like Kyrie Irving. I'm not sticking up for him as, oh, I like Kyrie Irving. He's you know one of my uh, favorite basketball players. Uh, but it's almost like they're making him bend the knee because certain people don't agree with him. And I, I see some of these reporters sometimes to me, it's one of those things that if I own a company, like a news company, I make my people go out and jump on the bandwagon with everyone else. Uh, so, I don't know, if ABC says something, 
CBS, NBC, Fox, CNN, you know, all these, you know, jump on the same thing. Uh, and, and they just, you know, do, do no investigation, no, uh, no, nothing. Uh, that's just the whole thing. They do nothing. They just, it's pretty much an echo chamber. One says it and then everyone else says it. And they kind of repeat the same thing. And they don't, they don't do any, any work. Uh, and that's really upsetting because it used to be that news was exactly that, news. Now it's opinion. Everyone has an opinion. You know, I think he shouldn't have said that. I think he shouldn't have said that. We let other people say some of the craziest, dumbest, insane, I, can't, I don't know how many more adjectives I can use. We, we let them say just stuff that makes no sense. Or is hateful, or is, um, I don't know. I, I I don't I don't like getting into the racist thing because I really don't think that there's too much racism. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that there's racism, but I mean I've never encountered it, or if I did, it just went over my head, and I just, you know, I have better things to do. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, allow someone to. Oh, because you're this, you know, you're, you know, it just, it, it makes no sense to me. The whole thing is that Kyrie Irving says something, saw a movie, said something about the movie, liked the movie, put it out. Hey guys, watch the movie. And everyone's up in arms about it's uh, anti-Semitic, you know, uh, it's going against the Jews. It's, you know, the Jews, this, the Jews, that. I'm not, has anyone ever seen the movie? All these people that are jumping on the bandwagon, have they even seen the movie? I tried looking it up on uh, Amazon. Uh, now, the only reason I didn't sit down and watch it because I had to pay for it, and I'm cheap. I'm not gonna lie about that one. I'll wait to see if I can stream it some, you know, some other way. But it's like now I want to go and find this book and read it because I want to see what why everyone's up in arms about. You know, some stuff that really, they probably have no idea what it's about. I saw um, Mr. Farrakhan come out and defend him. And trust me, I do not like Mr. Farrakhan. But I agreed with a lot of what he was saying. You know, um, yeah, he went into some racial stuff that I, you know, I don't agree with. Because again, I, you know, the racist thing, you know. Uh, but I, hey, I'm not black, so I have no idea, you know, what you know black people go through or what they've gone through or you know any, anything like that. So I'm not even gonna jump on that. But <clears throat> my whole thing is that I don't agree with him. Yet I was able to sit through this thing that he put out, defending Kyrie and Ye, or formerly known as Kanye, and it's like. I agreed with a lot of the points he was making. And one of the things that gets me upset is that we, again, we cater to the few and not the many. Uh, and reporters do not do any work anymore. You can say that they report the, mu the music, the, the news because of the title reporter right they're reporting the news but a lot of it nowadays is just opinion especially with the big guys the big cnn's you know fox uh headline news msnbc you know all those it's just opinion now I mean, they re they do some reporting but for the most part all you hear is just you know their opinion orange man bad you know obama this clinton that uh you know, now Kyrie this, you know, it's like, let him voice his opinion. If you don't like it, you don't listen to it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that I don't agree with. And you know what I do? I don't watch it. I don't listen to it. It's that simple. You know, if they want to have a crazy opinion, let them have a crazy opinion. Honestly, it's not hurting anyone. It's not. 
And if you're hurt by words, then honestly, you're weak. You know, I tell people that will listen. If what someone is saying about you is true, why does it offend you or why do you get mad? It's true. Right. If something that is someone is saying about you is not true. Then why are you offended? It's not true. It's a lie. You know, we control ourselves. We allow it to bother us. We allow it to get us upset. And I'm not I'm not saying that I don't get upset or, you know, there's sometimes that I do. But I have to catch myself and I have to say, OK, is this the, you know, the battle that I want to that I want to fight? And if someone calls me something <clears throat> derogatory or. I don't know, says something stupid. It's up to me whether I'm going to decide to fight that battle or not. You know, a lot of times it's like, <clears throat> it's not worth it. I'll just let that one go. You know, uh, now have I, have there been times when I've let my emotions get the best of me? Yes, there have been a, a few times, you know. But I learn from that and I try to keep going forward and improve daily, like I keep saying at the end of the videos. <clears throat> but I just don't understand why people are so upset with Kyrie. I, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, what I've, from what I've seen, it, it makes no sense. None at all whatsoever. Um, and like I said, when, when I saw Mr. Farrakhan, um, give his little opinion, you know, like a 40, 43 minute video that I sat down and watched. <clears throat> I agreed with a lot of the stuff he was saying. And, and it made sense. Now he went into some other little things, like I said, but you know, I, I don't agree with, or it's kind of like, well, I don't know anything about that. You know, it's just hearsay type thing. But some of the stuff he was saying really made a lot of sense, you know? And for, uh, one of the things that I find hard is when someone like say for example Kyrie uh, is trying to improve himself and and, is, and has made a, a little bit of you know money for himself that people try to drag drag him down I don't understand that I don't I don't understand the the thinking behind dragging someone else down instead of trying to get information from a person now obviously uh, I can't compare you know like Kyrie me. I mean, I can't say, hey, Kyrie, how can I make it into the NBA? One, I'm too short. <laughs> uh, not to say short people can't make it into the NBA. There's been a few. But, I mean, for the majority of the part, you know, you have to have some kind of talent or actually a lot of talent and, you know, not be, you know, too short. But instead of people trying to get information on, hey, how did you go about doing this? What was your work ethic? You know, hey, can can, can you help me out? Can you give me some advice? No, uh, the, one of the first things we want to do is, you know, how, how can I take them down? You know, uh, now there's nothing wrong with competition, you know, wanting to be better than the other person, but there is something wrong with trying to take that person down, right? Trying to, you know, just make them look bad because you don't agree with them. And th this thing that they're doing to Kyrie is just terrible. It, it, it is. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a Kyrie fan. Uh, he's a good basketball player, that's all I know. Uh, I know he plays for the Nets, uh, you know. But as far as, you know, how good is he? You know, do I keep up with his stats, stuff like that? No, I mean, you know, the people that I follow more will be more like a Kevin Durant or, you know, Curry or the kid that plays up in Dallas. Luca, um, I just don't like the fact that they're jumping on him for his opinion, right? It, it, it makes no sense to me. Um, and it's almost, um, they want to break him. That's honestly, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break him. They, hey, you, you got out of, uh, you're out of water and we need to, uh, get you back in line. That's that's all it is. That's how it comes across to me. You know, you got to get back in line. You got to um, do as you're told, type thing. Uh, 
and, and, it, and it's terrible. It, it's, it's just a terrible thing. I, I hope that he comes out okay out of this. Um, you know, but him getting canceled. And, and the other thing I hate about it is, you know, Nike and Adidas and all these guys jumping on the bandwagon also. You know, the guy sold shoes for you, right? People wanted to buy that shoe. It made, I'm assuming, good sales. If not, you wouldn't have named a shoe after him or, you know, gave him an endorsement. And now because certain people are disagreeing with him, you're bending the knee also, you know? People are still going to keep buying from you, whether whether they agree with Kyrie or they agree or they, or they don't agree with Kyrie. People are going to buy your 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 product. It it, it 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 amazes me how people that are at the top like that are so dumb. Honestly, they're they're so dumb, you know. And and it's just, I, I anyway, I I won't get on that rant. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch on that. Um, I'm on Kyrie's side. I honestly am. And and now I, I really want to watch that movie. I want to see what it's about. And I want to read the book if there's a book. You know. So for all the all all of you that are against him or whatever, uh you've just turned one person to want to go and dig into that. You know. So in a way I guess I can say thank you for that, you know, but I, I really disagree with the way you all are handling. Uh, or how he he is being handled by the media, especially. The, oh God. Um, I, I, anyway, I'll, I won't get into that one. But I just wanted to, I don't know, give my two cents as far as that goes. Uh, and one of the reasons also that I wanted to, to uh, say that for Kyrie is because as a veteran, uh, one of the things that, me, I'm not talking for all veterans. I'm just talking about me. My thinking at that age when I joined was to preserve what we have here in this country. Freedom of speech being one of them, right? Uh, and I wouldn't say that he's, you know, because well, all he did was just give information and say, hey, I like this movie. Uh, I, I think some of you should watch it. Uh, I don't know if that technically falls under freedom of speech, but come on. It just... <sighs> anyway. So, thank you for listening. I know I went on a little bit of a rant. I don't know. I don't even know if it made sense or not. But, um, like I've said, everyone go on and live a life, live it well, and try to improve daily. Thank you.